Hello my beauties and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today I am so excited because I'm collabing with my beautiful friend and sister Erica Conga. You will find her channel and video linked in the description box below. She is, she means the absolute world to me. She is a fantastic creator, storyteller, person, just a beautiful person inside and out. I adore her and I'm so excited to be collabing with her again. So I saw Erica using this palette actually, the Badass Beauties Fill Dot Palette. Um, I shall show you what it looks like inside. So this is the palette. Um, and I really wanted to try the brand. Um, I looked into the brand a bit because the name Badass Beauties is just, well, badass. So I had a little look into the brand. I discovered the brand owner is called Kimberly. She is a, a US Marine Corps veteran and former first responder, I believe. I hope I've got that right. Um, so having worked in kind of male dominated fields, she wanted to create a brand kind of to, so that to encourage women to feel beautiful, feminine, but still a badass. And I love that. And yeah, so I'm totally for this kind of brand. Obviously it's an indie brand, which is where my heart lies. So I love trying new indie brands and I'm so excited to be trying this indie brand, Badass Beauties, for the first time with my beautiful sister, Erica. Now, Erica did put together a few questions for us to answer whilst we're doing our makeup. Um, and I also do have, I should mention, I picked these up on sale not long ago because I've been on the fence for a while and yeah, I I had to try them. Um, so I've also got this highlighter which is called Home for the Holidays and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show how beautiful this packaging is. I think it is going to stunning and this is the highlighter itself so I'm going to be trying that too whilst answering these questions. So that was a really lengthy intro. Erica thank you for clubbing with me. I'm going to get into this now. I apologize. So I'm just going to pop on some eye primer and then we'll make a start. Okay, so I've popped on some of the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion, the original one. I'm giving this a go again. I have to admit I've been liking it so far. So, the first shade I'm going to go into is called Skivvies, um, which is a beautiful green, which is not going to come as a surprise to anyone that knows me. So, question number one. What is your definition of a badass beauty? Okay, well, I think a badass beauty is somebody who embraces who they are. They show the world who they are with confidence and basically go out for what they want. Not somebody that will trample people to get there but somebody that knows what they want is true to who they are and just goes out goes out gets it doesn't try and live up to these kind of social standards that are portrayed like you should be this you should be that just someone that yeah, could just conf confidently go out, be themselves, dress how they want, and um, just be themselves. I said that already, but I think you get the gist of what I think a badass beauty is. Um, I'm gonna put all of these questions in the description box below, and if you feel like answering them too, please go ahead and answer them in the comment section because I think it's just going to be fun to hear what other people think also. 
Okay, now on to question two. Now, question two is who are your badass beauty faves? And there are a few, like A, B, C, etc., to answer. So, A is actress. Okay, so badass beauty fave actress. I would have to say Sandra Bullock. Um, she, well, I love her first off. I think she is an amazing actress and a proper badass and a lot of the characters she's played are a proper badass too i just think she's amazing i love so many of her films i've got quite a few on dvd yes i am still one of these old school people that has drawers full of dvds i'm i'm not moving with the times i'm old school um, but yeah, so Sandra Bullock, definitely badass beauty actress. Um, who is B? So singer. So my favourite badass beauty singer has to be Dolly Parton. She is just iconic. I absolutely adore that woman. She is just herself. She is beautiful. She is wonderful. She she's just proud to be who she is and i absolutely love that but not just as a singer she also has acted and i only found this out recently i know she's like done a lot of charity work etc but i found out that in 1955 she created the Imagination Library, which is a program that gifts free books to kids under five to foster a love of reading at a young age. And she also donated $1 million towards the research behind Moderna's COVID-19 vaccine and another $1 million to the Monroe Carell Jr. Children's Hospital in honour of her niece who was treated for leukaemia at that hospital. Now, that isn't badass. I don't know what it is. Um, but yeah, she's somebody I very much look up to. And a little fun fact, a job interview I went for a few years ago. In the interview, they asked me who my role model was. And definitely wasn't expecting that question. I don't know why, because it kind of makes sense. But when they asked me, my instant gut reaction was Dolly Parton. She is just amazing. She, just to see the work she's put into everything she does, singing, acting, like charity work, she is just amazing. She is just beautiful inside and out. And to me, somebody who is truly badass and somebody to look up to, so yeah, little fun fact there, um, even more of a fun fact, it was kind of that that swayed me getting that job. So thank you, Dolly. Your spirit, spirit, I say that like she's not here. Um, I was channeling my inner Dolly that day, clearly. Um, so yeah, Dolly Parton. Now where are we going? Um, I'm going to go into another shade. Um, so I'm going to go into Camelback. Now, not being military, not having any military background, I don't know what half of these mean, so I apologise. If you do know that, let me know in the comment section below because I'd be intrigued, interested to know. Okay, so next up, C is athlete and that's going to be a pretty easy one for me just because growing up I've always loved watching the tennis um Wimbledon in particular I absolutely love Wimbledon and as a kid and even into kind of early adulthood possibly um I idolized Steffi Graf I just thought she was so freaking cool just she was amazing to watch the the power 
badass. It's <laughs> definitely the best way to describe Steffi Graf. But I was fortunate enough that with the primary school I was at, I got to go to Wimbledon and I got to see Steffi Graf play. And it was on centre court and I got to see her play Gabriella Sabatini. And I don't remember much from my kind of young childhood. Um, I don't know how normal that is, but I don't. But that is something I remember vividly. It was just so much. Oh, I was in awe. And I even spent the spending money I had. I got one of the Wimbledon like sweatbands um because i wanted to look like steffi graf and it also kind of helped that we share kind of share the name hers is spelled differently and then for a long time i refused to be called steph or stephanie i was steffi because i wanted to be just like steffi graf because she was so cool so yes that is the athlete that I think is a badass beauty and definitely a favourite. Okay, where are we at now? D, makeup artist or content creator? Now, this is difficult and not all in the same because there are many makeup artists and content creators that I think are so badass, beautiful. My co-collaborator here, Erica, being one of them, super badass. But I finally settled on a content creator and makeup artist that inspires me. And I think inspires so many of us here on this platform. And that is Katie, Makeup for Lost Time. I will link her channel in the description box below, just in case you don't know who she is. Now, Katie is a super badass. Um, I'm sure she won't mind me saying that she's um, a recover recovering addict. I discovered Katie quite a while before I started my channel um, and just looked up to her because she she has just oh, created a beautiful space for herself the things she's done in in her life I know that she helps others that are recovering addicts and has done a lot of work with that and continues to just be a true inspiration. And along with all of that, she is just such a beautiful, wonderful, badass beauty inside and out. She is super talented. She has a heart of gold. I cannot say enough great things about Katie she is she is one of my people I adore her she knows this and a fun fact is that <laughs> when I started my channel and I put my first video up Katie messaged me asking for the link because she couldn't find me and I was like a starstruck kid I couldn't believe she, I was like, oh my God, Katie knows who I am, wants to watch my video, wants to talk to me. <laughs> oh my God, it was mind blown. And she knows all of this. Um, <laughs> and then the first time we collaborated together, we, we did a collab video and I... I could not stop talking about it to anyone that would listen. I couldn't believe she wanted to collab with me. And through all of this journey, 
Katie has just become such a true friend, sister from another mister. I, I love her so dearly. And guys, if you want to see a true badass beauty, head over to Katie's channel because you will not be disappointed. I promise you. Again, linked in the description box below. So let's move on to the next. Who's next? Historical figure is E. Okay. Now this is a tough one because I've never been big into history. I know it's where we all come from. It's, I'm aware of all that. History has never been my subject. However, if I'm looking at historical figures that I think are badass beauties, the first that comes into my head is Florence Nightingale. Not just because of all the work she did, but also she came from a family, like a well-to-do family, and they frowned upon her decision to go into nursing. But she did it anyway, at a time when a lot of women just felt that they couldn't do that. And she did. She went into it and she went out to Crimea, I believe. But she went out with, with a team of people and the army hospital there was disgusting. There were no proper toilets. There were rats everywhere. It was filthy. Mr. Fluff's got a lot to say. And she went out there. She came up against a lot of criticism. The army doctors were very reluctant to accept her. But she was badass. And she went for it. She got them to help her. All of the able-bodied ones. To help her clean the place up. She had them scrubbing it. She got the place clean. She, I think, was known as, is it the lamp lady or something like that? Because in the night, she would go around with her lamp, checking on all of the, like, injured and sick soldiers. Um, and she'd go around and make sure they were comfortable and okay. Just truly caring. And then it wasn't until I thought, like with looking at stuff for this video, I found out that she is credited, credited, credited. <laughs> She's credited as the founder of modern day nursing. And in 1919, and in 1860, she opened the first science-based nursing school in London. Super badass super badass so Florence Nightingale it is for me bless you Mr Fluff so who do we have next okay F is family member now this one's pretty easy and it is my beautiful niece Sydney um, who is Erica Conger's daughter. Um, she's been wonderful enough to accept me as her auntie and love me and I adore her. But the reason she is my badass beauty is because Sid has type 1 diabetes and at such a young age she has not let it hold her back at all. Now, this girl is truly, truly badass. Not only has she not let it hold her back and she has continued with her life, but she even, her dream of being a mum, she made that come true. Despite having type 1 diabetes and any risks, she went for it and... Selfishly, I'm glad she did too, because she has had Wesley, who is just the cutest, most scrumptious little man. 
Auntie Steph's little precious and she she is an amazing mom just an amazing person and I can't think of anything more badass Mr. Fluff do you have to interrupt you're a badass too but you're not a when we're not talking about you today um no question on here says badass cats so back to Sid <laughs> um I just think that she is a true badass and Sid if you watch this you are a badass beauty I adore you I love you so so much and I'm so incredibly proud of you for everything you have done and just for how brave courageous and just such a huge heart you have but that one was a nice easy nice easy one to answer okay bit more green there I've not gone enough into that I've not actually talked about these shadows at all whilst I've been using them um but I think you can see they are performing beautifully absolutely beautifully I'm loving it and green 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 I love my greens right. okay So next up we have G is author. Crikey. Now this is a tough one. Author. I'm going to have to think about that one. Give me a second. Okay. I've had a think and I'm going to go with Patricia Cornwell. Um, she writes crime, crime fiction novels. I've read so many of her books and I have loved them. I'm a huge fan of true crime, crime fiction, anything how the mind works, psychology related. Um, so yes, I'm going to go with Patricia Cornwell and if you're a fan of crime fiction novels, check her out. And then we will move on to fictional character. Okay, um, and while we're talking about that, I'm going to go into Seabag. Love that name. No idea what it means, but I love it. It's a green shimmer. Actually, I think before I put that on, I'm going to pop on some of my Kyma Cosmetics Glitter Primer. Okay, so fictional character has to be Gamora from Guardians of the Galaxy. I think she is truly badass. If you haven't seen the films, maybe um, maybe turn the sound off for a minute. I don't want to give any spoiler alerts. So Gamora, she was like loaned out by her not not real father, somebody that had killed her parents and taken her and her sister in um but she'd been loaned out to this real bad guy and she so bravely i know i am aware this is fictional um but she so bravely <laughs> betrays him to do the right thing to save people to save a planet so yes gamora from guardians of the galaxy is my Badass beauty fave fictional character. Okay, <laughs> let's move on. Um, superhero. Oh wow, superhero. See again that I would have to go with Gamora from Guardians of the Galaxy. So yeah, for me, sorry, same answer. Is that kind of a the easy way out? Should I pick someone else? I could go with Wonder Woman. Okay, I will be good and I will make sure I have a separate answer. And I'm going to go with Wonder Woman just because I grew up adoring Wonder Woman. I have Wonder Woman shoes. I did have Wonder Woman pyjamas before I put on white. Um, 
yeah, we're going to go with Wonder Woman. She rocks. She's a badass beauty. Um, yeah, there we go. Sorry if that was way too long-winded. Long-winded. But yeah, there we go. Um, so. If you can hear snoring, that's Jace. Okay, so that's all of the badass beauty faves. That's question two. So question three. Where are we at? Let's have a look. So question three is share a time in your life when you felt the most badass. Okay, I am going to go with starting my channel. Because... Because I've not, I've never been what I would consider particularly brave. Um, I have always suffered like with anxiety, etc. And at the time that I started my channel, it was the dreaded C word. We're not going to mention it. Lockdown. And I was furloughed from work um, because people weren't allowed to leave their houses unless it was absolutely necessary and only a certain amount of people could go into workplaces, etc. So I was furloughed. Um, my mental health took a big hit from it. Not just the being furloughed, but also because at the time... I think we were all in the boat of feeling extremely isolated and starting my channel I think is probably one of the bravest things I have done so I would definitely say that it's probably yeah it's probably the time in my life where I felt the most badass so yeah uh, other than that, I, I wouldn't say I am generally a badass, <laughs> but I'm going with that. That's my answer and I'm sticking with it. So let's look at the next question. So next, what type of makeup look makes you feel the most badass? Okay. Um, ooh. That's a tough one, actually. Makes me feel the most badass. Big, bold, colourful makeup looks with big lashes. And not even necessarily super colourful, just bold. Big, like, bold eye looks, bold lip colours, big lashes. That's that's the type of makeup look that makes me feel makes me feel yeah makes me feel most badass. That was a nice simple one. Okay, what do we have next? Question five: What is a badass makeup technique that you'd like to master? That's easy. Smoky eye. <laughs> I for some reason, cannot master a smoky eye. And I think that they look super badass. And one day, I hope to succeed in mastering that technique. I am actually enrolled on and doing a makeup artist course at the moment. So I have hope. I have hope that that is a technique that I will master. Yes. That's my answer to that one. Okay. Hmm. Only two questions left, but question six has two parts. So, question six. What do you think is the most badass aspect of ageing? Um, I would have to say... Let me just get another brush. For the inner part of my lid, I'm going to go in with silver bullet which I'm not sure if it's self-explanatory or if it means something else. Again, if you have the answer to that, let me know in the comment section below. 
So, the most badass aspect of aging, I would have to say that it is life experience. Um, and getting to the point where you you can feel more comfortable in your own skin not feeling the need to follow the crowd and be a sheep that i would say is probably the most badass aspect of aging um and also with the life experience Hmm. No. Yeah, that's my answer to that one. So, <laughs> what was the most badass aspect of your youth? Oh my word, not having the responsibilities. Being able to not think about the consequences of going out partying. Not worrying about the hangover the next morning or what an idiot you made of yourself <laughs> and the fact that it's okay because you're a youth it's that's the time that you get to really almost like try on the new like the different personas to find out who you are and yeah without the all the responsibilities that you face as an adult so these shimmers are more your kind of regular shimmer formula but absolutely beautiful i'm having no issues whatsoever i'm loving this look and they're blending together beautifully okay so we are on to we're on to the very last question which is question seven what advice would you give to someone if they asked you how do you become a badass i would say believe in yourself be true to who you are go for follow your dreams go for it you know just forget about what people think of you if it's a dream you have and it's not going to trample on anyone or hurt anyone in the process, go for it. Because a true badass believes in who they, they know who they are and they believe in themselves and they take risks. When I say take risks, I don't mean stupid risks. I mean, step outside your comfort zone. Find out who you are. Follow your dreams. Life is too short to, to not follow your dreams out of fear or fear of what other people might think of you, fear of what society might think. If what you are doing isn't hurting anyone, isn't crushing anyone else's spirits then go for it be you be the badass beauty that you deserve to be i'm really i'm really enjoying playing with this palette I have to say, I know I haven't spoken much about the palette itself. Um, that's all of the questions answered now. Again, if you want to answer those questions, I will have them in the description box. I would be super interested in hearing what your answers are. What, yeah, who your badass beauty faves are, etc. Um, but yeah, talking about the palette now. I've really enjoyed playing with this and any of you that know me know green is my favourite and I love this. Um, this is for me quite a neutral look but 
neutral look I can get on board with. I'm just going to go back into Skivvies. <laughs> back into Skivvies. I love that name. Um, the dark green matte. And I'm just going to deepen that outer edge and kind of blend the shimmer and matte together a little bit. Beautiful. There is a fair bit of fallout in the mattes. I don't mind that at all. I've got fallout here, but then I do my base first. I don't do my base first. I do my eyes first so I can clean up any fallout that there is. Okay. I'm going to nip off and pop my base on. I'll come back, we'll do under eyes together and I'll save the highlight for the end and we'll pop that on together too. So guys, I'm just going to go and pop a base on so I will be back in just a moment. Okay, so I've popped on my base. Let's do the under eyes and the highlighter. So I'm just going to go in with the same mattes I used on top, the skivvies and camelback um yeah we'll have a look at shimmers in a moment i do have to say i've really enjoyed playing with this palette for me this is kind of a neutral palette that's a more of a steph neutral palette this is my idea of a good neutral palette and um, yeah I am trying browns a bit more. I, I really am. But green is my neutral. I don't think that's ever going to change. And this green is beautiful. And they're performing so nice. I've had like no issues whatsoever with blending, with patchiness, with pigment. They're just performing beautifully i did have a feeling that i was gonna love it just purely because i've seen see erica use this palette and love it so i am not disappointed so in with camelback <laughs> these names are brilliant i wish i knew what they and then I'm sure one of you out there can enlighten me. But I think Kimberly's done an absolutely fantastic job. Not just with the eyeshadow palette, but the meaning behind her brand. If you hear what sounds like tap dancing, that's my puppy. Overgrown puppy. He's uh, playing. Yeah, these mats are beautiful. Definitely have not disappointed at all. I'm really looking forward to seeing what look Erica has done with this. I wonder if we've used any of the same colours. Be interesting to see because I know that Erica also loves green eyeshadow, so it is entirely possible that we've used the same colours. We'll see. We shall see. Neither of us told the other what we were planning on doing, so each look will come as a surprise to the other one. Make sure that's blended. This is just really nice. Really, really nice. Okay, shimmer for under the eyes. Oh, let me just swatch those two. Oh yeah, that one's too dark for that. Okay, definitely going to be that one. So, for under my eye, I'm going in with brass. And none of these, I would say, are light enough to be an inner corner highlight. 
but that is absolutely fine because I have I have a highlighter to use. And this shade goes perfectly. I'm only putting on a little bit of time just because obviously I've got my face on and I don't want I don't want any fallout. I'm actually really happy with how my base has turned out today. So I have to say I've been using the HNB Cosmetics um what's it called? Luminous Soft Focus Airbrush Foundation. I have been loving it. And now going to go into the Badass Beauties Home for the Holidays highlighter. This packaging is beautiful. I love it. And then this is the highlighter. Um, I'm also going to use that for inner corner and brow bone highlight. I am going to swatch this quickly. Ooh. How that's pretty. So that's first thing. This is going to be more of a glittery highlight, but if you know me, you know I don't mind that. Ooh. <laughs> that's pretty. It's quite wet looking. So whilst it's a bit glitter it's not just chunks of glitter it's got a real nice wet looking base to it hmm and this is definitely my kind of highlighter i do like a blinding highlighter and this is definitely living up to that I like that you've got the sparkle from kind of the glitteriness, but also the the real wet look to it. Okay. Just a bit more on. I can't help but top up the highlighter. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, I'm impressed. Let's see what this looks like on the inner corner. Ooh. Come on, just make a bit more. Yeah, I was going in a little bit too light-handed considering i've got such a tiny little brush that i'm using there we go that's beautiful And then I'm just going to pop a little bit up under my brow there. Ooh. That looks absolutely stunning. Okay, guys. I'm going to nip off and finish my face. I will come back and show you the finished look and wrap up the video with you. So if you would like to see that and hear that, then don't go anywhere. Okay, guys, this is the finished look. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Before I wrap up the video, I'm just going to quickly, firstly, let you know a couple of things I popped on my face. Um, so where do I start? These lashes I am completely head over heels in love with. I feel badass. They're from Meggy Lashes, which is a UK indie brand, and they are in the style ponytail. I think they look amazing. And then 
I went in for my lips with one of the Curse Cosmetics lip potions. This one is the shade Amulet. I love these. So, just quickly, my thoughts on the Badass Beauties Filled Up Palette. I love the packaging. It's green. But I do love how it's got like the military boots on. I, I love the whole vibe of the brand. The colour story is, for me, a very neutral colour story. But one I can get on board with. Got some beautiful greens. As you can see, I've managed to do a Steph bold look. Albeit a little more neutral-ish. I love it. I feel pretty badass. Um, the shadows perform beautifully. The mattes blend really well. They're pigmented. I had no issues with blending, with patchiness. Um, there's a fair bit of fallout, uh, kick up fallout. Um, I found with the green matte and also with the other matte I tried, Camelback. Um, which is absolutely fine if you're going to do your eyes first. The shimmers are your more regular shimmer formula. However, they look absolutely stunning. I'm super, super happy. I love how the look came out. Yeah, super happy I have this palette. The highlighter, wow. Now, this highlighter, or I should say that the palette retails for 32 US dollars. I did have a look at the moment, it is sold out, um, but I'm pretty sure she's not discontinuing it. Uh, the highlighter, Home for the Holidays, is currently in stock as I'm filming this, um, and it's on sale for 12 US dollars, where it would usually be 18 US dollars. Um, this is beautiful. It It is a little bit on the glittery side, but with a real wet looking base. I don't know how else to describe that. It's almost like a hybrid between your wet look highlighter and your glittery highlighter. Um, but I think it looks absolutely stunning. I love that I've been able to build it up pretty easily. Um, so yeah, the products, super happy with, over the moon. Um, thank you, Erica, so much for collabing with me. This has been so much fun. I love the questions. You always come up with the best questions. Even if some of them were a little harder for me to answer, it makes me think. And I love the whole vibe of it. Badass beauties, kind of encouraging others to be their badass, beautiful self. I love that. Um, yeah. Guys, I'm pretty sure all of you know who Erica is, but just in case you don't, you will find both her channel and her video linked in the description box below. Please, please, please go check her out. Also, Katie, Makeup for Lost Time, who I mentioned as my content creator, Badass Beauty. Katie's channel will be linked in the description box below. Also, if you haven't checked her out, please go and check her out and show her some love. Um, I will also link the website for Badass Beauties in the description box below. And everything else I have on my face will be listed in the description box also. Um, along with any discount codes I have. They're always at the bottom of my description box. So yeah, I think that's about it from me. Again, Erica, thank you so much for collabing with me. I had such an amazing time. Um, this was so much fun, really fun collab to do. And guys, if you want to answer those questions, they're in the description box. Please feel free to answer them in the comment section below. Let's have a chat build each other up um so yeah if you are new here if you've come over from erica's channel hi welcome i'm steph i'm a huge lover of colorful makeup supporting indie brands and just having a great time here on youtube so thank you so much for spending this time with me i hope you're all having a great day great evening wherever you are and whatever you're doing i hope you're taking care of yourselves i will see you again very very soon Bye. Yeah. Stepping in the spot like she own it. Looking like the world is your runway. She can set it up.